It's good to be back. Um, you know, thank you so much for this award. Um, Serafina, thank you for reaching out to me. In many ways, I had become very disconnected from Australia. And you guys reached out, and I'm really grateful to be reconnected. Um, two years ago, two and a half years ago, I founded my startup, Heuresis. Um, you pronounced it correctly. Um, our, our mission is to build the world's most advanced handheld X-ray devices, and these will be for the environmental, analytical, and the security space. Um, in America, currently, there are 35 billion square feet of highly toxic lead paint on interior surfaces, and this is calling, causing a, an epidemic of, of lead poisoning in young children. And unfortunately, it's the young children who are currently the lead detectors. Um, the lead is detected through elevated lead levels, through behavioral issues, learning issues, um, and even moderate to severe retardation. Our first product is a lead paint analyzer. In one second, it analyzes the lead and determines if it's above or below the EPA level. Um, so we build, we want to build the world's fastest, uh, cheapest, lightest, and highest performance uh, lead analyzers. Our second product, which was released, actually launched uh, yesterday in Tokyo at the uh, at the uh, SECO counterterrorism conference, is the world's first handheld device that can see through the steel of vehicles. Um, so police. Uh, customs agents, security personnel can see drugs, explosives and weapons right through the steel. And uh, we presented it to Australian Customs in Canberra yesterday. They were the first government agency to see it. And they immediately want a device to, uh, to run some trials, so we're very excited about that. So now that the connection has been remade, thank you, Serafina and your whole team, um, I want to stay in much more contact, closer contact with the manufacturing and research organizations here in Australia and just see what I can do to foster a greater cooperation uh, between Australians here and those living abroad. So thank you very much.